Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another English class. This is the class number 10. So it means that we are, uh, well, at the middle of the course. Estamos en la mitad del curso. So let's see who do we have here. Especially here we have Rosalie. Hi, Rosalie. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? I'm fine. Today um, is a day more quiet. Oh, really? Okay, a very quiet day. So no, no complications for today, right? Yes. Okay, I like to hear that. Yeah, especially because it's Monday. So Mondays usually are difficult, but you say that no complications for Monday. Thank you, Rosalie. Here we have Evelyn. Good evening, Evelyn. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Uh, how are you? Everything okay? Excellent. Thank you. Here we have David. Good evening, David. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Uh, all very good. Perfect. Nice. We have also uh, Guillermo. Hi. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Hello. I'm great. Okay. That's perfect. Monday. I know Mondays are kind of difficult, but let's do this very well. Thank you, Guillermo. Uh, Noé. Hi there. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Uh, Amazing. Oh. I'm glad Amazing. to be here. Okay, I hope I hope we can continue uh, and we finish the course. Thank you, Noe. Thank you for your energy. Gustavo, hi there. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How, okay, how are you tonight? Excellent. Thank you. I'd like to hear that. We have also uh, Adia's listener, Daniel, Oscar, Claudia, Elias, Susie, John, Doris, K. Carroso, welcome back. Daniel, hello there. Hi, teacher. How are you tonight? I am really happy to see you. Okay. So do I, my friend. I'm happy too. Thank you. So we're going to start um, with the class number 10. It means that we are in at the middle of this module. Vamos a la mitad. So the rest of the classes are going to, to, to pass by uh, really fast. Van a pasar super rápido esta otra clase que tenemos. Believe me. So class number 10, I'm happy that we are at the middle of this course. And we're going to study some other uh, grammar structures. Also, we're going to review some of the structures that we had on Friday and Thursday. So, um, let's see. What's your perfect boiled egg? Come on. I'm pretty sure that you don't like zero minutes. I'm pretty sure. But we have, on the contrary, 15 minutes. Come on. 15 minutes, it's like for enchiladas or something like that. But we have some other one minute boiled, un minuto de, bueno, hervido. Uh, two minutes, three, five, uh, six, seven, 11, 13, 15, I don't know. You tell me what's uh, your perfect boiled egg. Let's start with Rosalie and then Guillermo. Okay, Rosalie, what about you? My per my perfect boiled egg is fifteen minutes. Fifteen, fifteen minutes. Okay, yes. so okay, well cooked, bien cocinado. Thank you, Guillermo, and then Evelyn. Come on, how many minutes? Mm, for me, I would say that you seven minutes. Seven minutes. Okay. Yeah, I know sometimes it's kind of difficult to decide. Uh, Evelyn and David. For me, five minutes. Okay, thank you. David and Noé. I perfect. Uh, three minutes. I'm sorry? Three, three. minutes. 
Three minutes, yes. okay? You yes. are winning, David, okay? Because uh, here we have some other, uh, Noe, and then Daniel. Hello, Hello teacher, for me, three minutes, too. Yeah. Three minutes? Very good. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, nice. Uh, Daniel and Gustavo. In my case, I don't eat eggs, but I think five minutes. Okay, you usually don't need, you, you don't like them, maybe, but five minutes, okay, for you. Okay, Gustavo and Maritza. For me, teacher, uh, 15 minutes. 15, okay, again, thank you. Okay, uh, Maritza and Jose. For me, 15 minutes. 15, okay, thank you. Okay, Jose, tell us, and then we go with... Good Oscar. evening. Good evening. In my case, it will be number three or number 11. Okay, <laughs> three or 11. Okay, two uh, different options. Thank you. Oscar and Susie. Maybe Oscar is ready. If not, uh, let's listen to Susie. Okay, Oscar. Yes, yes. Uh, I teach her by me, I think, uh, 11 minutes. 11 minutes. Okay, thank you. Let's listen to Susie and then Alejandro. Good evening. For me, my perfect boiler L is um uh, three minutes. Three minutes. Thank you. Alejandra, what about you? Good evening. Okay. For me, the perfect boiler X is uh 15 minutes. Okay, 15. Thank you. And here we have John. He says zero minutes. Come on, John. Well, I guess maybe it's like a medicine, but on the contrary, uh, we prefer like boiled eggs. Yeah, uh, there are some people that they don't like like two or three minutes, okay? But then there are some others who like like 13, 15 minutes. Honestly, I prefer like five minutes. Yeah, five minutes will be all right. Let's move. Okay, Um, here we have, this is very common nowadays, especially on the... Oh, John, you take two in the morning. I have heard that that's really healthy. I don't know. Maybe yes, like Rocky Balboa. Acronyms. Acronyms are um, words that represent... Uh, I'm sorry, letters that represent words. For example, uh, it is very common you find these acronyms uh, in the chat or in also you can see on Instagram posts, Facebook, uh, Facebook posts and some, well, some social media. So here we have, by the way, be right back. Uh, to be honest, just kidding. I don't care. Let me know. Love out loud. Es bien común, ¿verdad? Love out loud. I love you. Uh, throwback Thursday. This is very common, especially on Instagram. Uh, there are some people who like to post uh, like uh, pictures from all times, like two years ago, 10 years ago, especially throwback on Thursday. And here we have uh, before anyone else. It's very, very common for uh, couples, para las parejas. So when they tag or post some of the pictures in which you're included. And then here we have uh, price adverbs that I consider that this is more important because price adverbs are part of a uh, daily English. Uh, there are verbs. They are verbs composed by two words. For example, we can say return. That's a very common verb. But the frightful verb son verbos compuestos por dos palabras. Specifically, one verb and the other can be a preposition. Normalmente es un verbo y una preposición. So, get back, como la canción de uh, the Beatles, significa to return. Hold on, to wait. Pick out, choose. Cut off, to postpone. Call off, cancel. Look over, to examine. Blow up, to explode. Okay? Get back, 
example, don't, pick out, put off, call off, look over, blow up. Okay. I'm going to check the attendance list. Please say hi, hello, good evening. And then you pronounce one of these phrasal verbs. Okay. Uh, Adi, I guess she's like a listener. But let's move to Ana Cristina. I don't know if Ana is here. If not, we go, well, Elias, I guess his listener. I know Elias, I don't know if you're there, or Rivas. I don't remember. Oh, Elias. Hello, okay, hello. Good hello, morning. Rivas. Thank you. Uh, Claudia. No, right. Okay, Daniel. Hi. Hi. Um, look over. Thank you. Uh, David, you go. I am here, teacher. Pick uh, out. Oh, thank you. Okay, uh, we go with Alejandra. Good evening. Good evening. Look over. Good, thank you. Evelyn. Blow up. Okay, uh, Graciela, I don't know if you're there. Hi, teacher, blow up. Okay. Thank you, uh, Guillermo. Uh, present teacher, uh, hold on. Okay, good. We go with Jose. Hello, hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Blow up. Okay, blow up. Thank you. Uh, let's see who else do we have here. Um, John is listener. Katia. I don't know if Katia is here. Okay, let's move to Maritza. Thank you. Okay, uh, Marvin. No, Marvin, not here, okay. No, eh? No, teacher. Get by. Perfect. Gustavo? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Get back. Thank you. We go with Oscar. Present. Okay, thank you. Rosalie? Present, call off. Good. Susie? Present teacher, how are you? Oh. Okay, very nice, thank you. And what about Teresa? I guess Teresa is not here. Okay, let's move. So um, here I have some, well, a specific question. Tengo acá una pregunta en específica. What annoys you about yourself? Ok. ¿Qué te molesta? ¿Qué te incomoda acerca de ti mismo? It can be something physical. It can be something from personality. It can be a habit or it can be a, the reaction that you have from any situation. Uh, the idea, I don't know, we have a lot of different things about yourself. So uh, we're going to uh, text here in the Zoom chat, okay? For example, it annoys me, que te molesta de ti. Okay, uh, you can say this, for example, it annoys me that I am jealous. Me molesta, me incomoda que soy celoso o celosa. One example, okay? It can be related to your personality. I recommend you to do that because if you say something about your uh, physical appearance, maybe it's not so, so 
comfortable, no, no muy cómodo. But you can talk about your character, you can talk about something about your personality, maybe a negative aspect that you consider it is not so positive. Okay, I'm going to wait you for your answers. Okay, let's see what do we have here. Maybe we can start with Rosalie, please. Tell us, let's talk about this. The teacher, um, I, it annoys me is I have a bad habit of beating my nights. Biting, okay, yes. That's something that maybe it's related to anxiety. You are anxious. Quizá era un poquito ansiosa. But sometimes it happens. So, yeah. And it is difficult to stop these habits. I know. Okay, thank you, uh, Rosalie. Thank you. Yeah, something that is not that good, right? Okay, Noe, what about you? And then Teresa. For me, it annoys me that I am a little forgetful. <laughs> okay, but that's uh, something related to dates, related to obligations, functions, or uh, specific information, uh, because that depends, right? Or I don't know yeah. if you are like uh, kind of uh, forgetful for everything. Almost for everything, but especially with dates. Yeah, okay. And that, that usually happens uh, for men. We are kind of, we have some difficulties with dates. I don't know uh, what is that, but well, yeah, I, I understand you. And sometimes we have uh, discussions. A veces hay problemas, discusiones, for that reason. Okay. Yeah, it is true. Okay, thank you, thank you. And what about Teresa and then David? Hi, teacher. Hello, Teresa. It, it's annoying me that I'm a sentimental person. Really, for everything, for for your family, or for yeah, yeah. Okay. And so. didn't like and don't like me. Okay, and so different situations affect you. So 
Yes, you have to, yeah. you can work on that. Mm -hmm. I know. We can work on that. Okay. Uh, let's move now. Thank you, Teresa. David. Okay, David, what do you think about this? Uh, in my case, uh, it annoys me that uh, I am distrustful. Oh, really? And that uh, usually it's applied for family, for jobs, or or for what? Or uh, for... Hello? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I had some difficulties. So you are distrustful and it is difficult for you to have confidence. Difficult to have confidence. Yeah. You, you are like uh, this. Uh, in my job, for example, in my job, uh, I like to review or check things thing well. Okay, yeah. Yes, you, you have to check two times some some right sometimes because uh, it is uh, well you have you can have a lot of problems if, if you don't do that especially at your at your job thank you david good example uh, maritza and then rivas okay maritza uh, but you're very serious in your job or in general In general. In, okay, Maritza, come on, vamos a cambiar eso. You have to mm -hmm. relax sometimes, okay? Hay que relajar un poco, okay? <laughs> sí. Thank you, Maritza. Rivas en Gustavo. It annoys me, I am very pro. Oh, really? And you mean that uh, it is difficult for you to, to change your opinion in, in that way? Or you don't ask for help. Mm, ask for help, teacher. Ask for help. Yeah, sometimes it is difficult to accept that we need help. Maybe because sometimes we can find the solution. But okay, that's your point. Thank you. Uh, we go with Gustavo and Guillermo. It it bo bother me that I very angry. Okay, you are angry uh, in your job or with your family, with your friends, or every time? Always uh, in my family, in, with my job. Okay, yes. Sometimes we have like very stressful and we don't have too much patience and we are angry. Okay, but remember that we have to be happy sometimes, okay? If not, we're going to get older very quickly. Si no, vamos a envejecer rápido. Ya me ha pasado. Thank you, Gustavo. Uh, Guillermo and Evelyn. Okay, Guillermo. Okay. Uh, it annoys me that I am anxious. Okay. Uh, uh, but anxious for, for something that is coming, something maybe very important, a date, or with um, your job? I mean, mm, most of the time when I have something important to do. Ah, okay. So you are like like waiting for the moment and yeah. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever had the, uh, problems or difficulties uh, for this? Being no. Anxious? Uh, I feel that... Mm, that kind of feeling uh, gives me more uh, determination. Yeah, and sometimes it can help you to be focused, right? Yes. On doing something really good. So yes, it is kind of negative, but also it can help, okay? It is better to be like this and not to be destructive. <laughs> That's another, another point, but okay. Thank you, Guillermo. Evelyn? It bothers me that I'm very angry. Okay. Uh, you are very angry uh, all day? Or especially with your job, with your family? What about your, your, couple, your husband, your boyfriend, your kids? I don't know. Everyone. 
Really, Evelyn, maybe you need to relax and to have fun. Creo que necesitas divertirte. It could be like okay. a therapy. Yeah, like a therapy. To relax and to stress out. Yeah, it is very important. Especially, remember, we are not machines. We are not robots. But sometimes we need a, like, space. Necesitamos un buen espacio. Believe me. Believe me. Okay, thank you, Evelyn. Hey, Noe, uh, what, what you're saying? Okay, yeah, your appearance, you look, like, very serious. You are saying that, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, oh, yes. And, okay, a question. A lot of people, say, do a lot of people see you in that way? You have noticed that, that people perceive that you are, like, you look angry, but you are not angry, right? And I can, we can hear you, know, uh, maybe the microphone. Yes, and some people tell me, hey, why are you angry, man? And, and I tell him, no, I'm not angry. That's my way. Yeah, yeah. maybe because of your forehead in this part, yeah, you are pain. Uh, that happens even to, to my wife sometimes. Uh, she looks like like this, but she's paying attention yeah. for something. She's reading or something very important. And I, um, I have asked her. Sometimes hey, focus on sometimes on sort of yeah. things, and the people think I'm angry. <laughs> yeah, but you are thinking on something maybe to find the solution to solving a problem. I don't know a lot of things. Yeah, and that's the way you look. But it is not your fault. It's maybe the way you. You look because you are focused. So yes. yeah, so it happens with your daughter, right? Yeah, it happens. Yeah, I understand you, my friend. I know people like this. He, they look angry and they are very crazy. Son bien disparados. Yeah, in my case. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I understand. <laughs> okay, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we're going to check this. Let me see. Well, the last time uh, we, we checked these the steps to purchase online. Okay. Ask different partners valid reason why customers can ask for a refund or reason when they cannot ask for it. I guess it does. Let me check this. No recuerdo si hicimos esto. Creo que sí lo habíamos hecho. Okay. Let's move to this because we are having. Okay, we're going to do something very. Tell me on chat acceptable reasons in which you can find a valid reasons. Okay, this is the key word. It's a common, common, a parte clave. Valid reasons. Uh, some of you work with clients, okay, or customer service. And a lot of clients, they are asking for a refund, but the reason is not valid, right? And even there is a, there is a video on Facebook for a, an angry woman that she is asking a, in a negative way for the refund. He wanted the money. She wanted the money, but she didn't have the bill, the check. No, no tenía el, el, la factura. But she was asking for the refund without the bill. So kind of difficult. So and there are reasons where they cannot ask for it. Okay. So I needed you to tell me, select one. Acceptable reason or unacceptable reason to refund. Razones aceptables o no aceptables, verdad, para el reembolso. Okay. For any product, think about one. Maybe problems with the product. Maybe the expiration date. Yeah, maybe the 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 customer service. I don't know. Think about the different reasons, and we're going to check this in a moment.
Okay, let's listen to some of yours. Here we have uh, like acceptable, unacceptable. Okay, Noe, could you share please uh, the reason that uh, you mentioned? Acceptable reason, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. For me, acceptable reason could be when client want to change some problem. For example, food, when the expiration food, then the expiration date has passed. Yeah, very important. Yeah. yeah, when the client wants, yeah, wants to change some product and it happens very common in the supermarket. Okay, for example, yes, there are some offers. Uh, there are some offers and the client says, hey, I'm going to take advantage of this. I'm going to take this home. But we have some difficulties with the date has passed, as you mentioned. Or, yeah, and or the date it's about to, to, to pass, to expire. Thank you. Okay, here we have Teresa. You want to share uh, something, right? Yes, teacher. Please, please. I think that, I think that an acceptable reason is if a product is damaged from the factory, for okay. example, a TV that doesn't that or that that don't work or that doesn't don't, work, mm -hmm. a TV uh -huh. doesn't work um, or uh, or doesn't turn on. Okay, uh -huh. you you, yeah. you want to turn on at home and yeah, and it it, it doesn't like it. It doesn't mm -hmm. work. Yeah, from factory could it be, or maybe on the during the process of, of, of traveling movement, okay, but it is not your fault. It is from the company's mm -hmm, fault. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I understand a very valid reason. Thank you. Okay, here we have Guillermo. Tell me, my friend, what do you have? Mm -hmm. For me, an acceptable reason, if they don't recognize a double purchase, Mm -hmm. okay. In the same day. Mm -hmm. That is one. And the other unacceptable reason is just because they made a grand purchase and they they don't read the condition to ask for the refund of their purchase. Mm -hmm. Very common. Uh, for example, you when you buy something, you ask uh, for the information about the guarantee or if in something goes wrong, uh, how many months, okay, uh, does the, the guarantee cover? So very important, people usually just buy something, purchase, but they don't read or they don't ask about the product, right, Guillermo? So it is very important to ask or to know about more about the product. If you don't know anything and then you want your money back, mm, you have problems. Okay, thank you, Guillermo. Very two important points. Susie and then Daniel. Okay, Susie, acceptable reason. An acceptable reason in if the product product is damaged. Is damaged, yeah. Yes, of course. An acceptable reason. I use the product. In once and no longer need it. Need very, it. very important word. Use the product once, and then you realize or you notice, hey, I don't like this this product. I I want to change it. Exactly. And just because you don't like it, so it is really difficult to have a, a change or a refund. Thank you, uh, Susie. Very two valid uh, reasons. Well. Acceptable and unacceptable. Daniel and then Rosalie. Okay, Daniel. Hi. In in, uh, in countable reason, the uh, ticket lost. Ah yes. Very uh, common. In acceptable reason. In acceptable reason, is the uh, product it's in good condition. Okay. Okay. So the first one is that you want a refund, change the product or something like that, and you don't, you don't have the ticket, of course. So that is very important at least to take a picture of, of the bill or something like that. And the other, the other one that you mentioned is the product is in good condition. And if you want to say something that, hey, come on, this is, doesn't work, but yeah, it is in good reason. Thank you. Rosalie and Maritza. Okay, Rosalie. Okay, teacher. 
um, acceptable reason for a service not provided. Mm -hmm. Acceptable reason be the cause of the failure of a product or item. An item, yes. Okay, thank you. Um, there are there. Well, we have different cases in which the service was not provided. Yeah, of course, you can ask for the refund. Okay, thank you, uh, Maritza and Rivas. Okay, Maritza, you go. Okay, yes. Uh, number two, yes, yeah, the product is broken but at home. Or when you take it from the the the, the what the, the the store and you take it to, to your car and suddenly it is broken because of your fault, yeah, definitely you're not going to have anything back. Rivas, and then we continue. Okay, Rivas. Acceptable reason for improper collection of product not purchased. Okay. And unacceptable reason for lost ticket. Yeah, similar. Yes, of course. I agree, my friends. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're going to have this. Look, here we have online order and refunds. Okay, so uh, read the description and write down the correct demonstrative pronoun. Okay, here we have these, that, these, those. Let me check if, if we have this. Because I, no. And maybe we can have like a very brief review of demonstrative pronouns. It's quite important to have this clear. Uh, I know that these, that, these, and those are like kind of complicated words and maybe we can get confused. So look at this. Here we have this, that, these, those. When we're talking about that is this is because it is a close, okay? That you are pointing from a distance. This we are close, estamos cerca, and, and it's plural. Those. We are like from a distance and we are pointing and here we have plural, okay? I like this apple. Tiene la manzana super cerca o en la mano. I like that apple. You are pointing, está señalando. I, I like these apples, okay? Están cerca. Uh, I like those apples, okay? Uh, you already know this. So let's move to the... To this exercise. Just give me a, a couple of seconds. I have some difficulties with my mouse. This, I guess the battery is running out of energy. Just let me see. Okay, take a look. Denle una revisada. Please, please. And then we continue.
Okay, do we have volunteers for this? Uh, number one, we have uh, like six options. Uh, no, please, my friend, what number? Number one, mm -hmm. how could you buy something like this? Yes, very interesting question. How could you buy something like this? Okay. Talking about a purse in your hand. Hablando de un monedero, perdón. En, en, en la mano. Thank you. Okay, who else? Number two, three, four, five, or six. Any volunteers? Okay. Number six. Please. Okay. Daniel, right? Okay, let's see number six. Okay, and um, number six. In this picture, you see me in Wi-Fi and those Okay, very nice. Uh, singular, okay? In this picture, you see my wife and daughter. But here we have a description in parentheses about a picture hanging on the wall. Yeah. But, yeah, maybe we can say that. But yeah. aquí dice una imagen colgada en la, en, en la pared. But sometimes we have a picture on the wall and we touch it. Y a veces hay una, también ¿verdad? una imagen que se puede tocar. So... It can be this, but maybe could it be that as well. But thank you, Daniel. Very nice. Yeah. You can use this, like, if you are close. Está muy cerca? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Okay. Who else? David. Uh, number two, teacher. Yeah. These reports are very heavy. Yes. And we're going to use this because it's plural. Okay. Reports, as you mentioned are very heavy. Y no solo la S, reports, dice R, plural, ¿ok? With a pile of reports on your lap. Con, ¿verdad? Con una pila de reportes sobre tus, eh, como pierna, parte, como el laptop, ¿verdad? Donde pones la laptop. Thank you. Eh, we go with Rosalie. Number three. I mm -hmm. had to wear this comfortable shoes. This I product. have to wear. Okay, okay. I have to wear mm -hmm. this. Wear. This you mentioned, right? This plural. Mm -hmm. Comfortable shoes I bought. Okay, during a long way. Yeah. Okay, yes. Thank you. Uh, Teresa, four or five? Four. Can you bring okay. me that cup I left? In Anna's desk. Yes, pointing, señalando, pointing at a cup on a far desk. Aquí sí lo especifican, far desk, un escritorio lejo, lejano. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, we're going to check number five. Okay, are Mr. Pineda's children? Okay, uh, about a picture hanging on the wall. Okay, estamos diciendo. En este caso vamos a hacerla acá para avanzar. Dos, ¿verdad? Ellos, ¿verdad? O puede ser, esos son los niños del señor Pineda. Those are Mr. Pineda's children. And here we have. About the picture hanging on the wall. If you notice, number five and number six, the description of the action is similar. About a picture hanging on the wall. Okay. So I needed to have a screenshot of this because it's really important. We're going. Thank you very much, Noe. Thank you for your help. Okay, we're going to have like a, a practice. So I recommend you to have like, um, I recommend you to, to, to practice a little bit. Let's see. Number one, how could you buy something like this? Talking uh, about a purse in your hand. Number two, uh, these reports are very heavy with a pile of reports on your lap. I had to wear these comfortable shoes I bought during a long walk. Or can you bring me that cup 
I left in Anna's desk, pointing a cup at a cup on a far desk. And here we have also those are Mr. Pineda's children about a picture hanging on the wall. And uh, in that picture, you see my wife and daughter. Okay. So let me see here. Well, actually, we don't have to practice. No vamos a practicar mayor cosa. But maybe I like to hear uh, this. Okay. Now that here we have this, we're going to complete exercise number uh, two. It is like this. We're going to work in pairs. Vamos a trabajar en equipos acá. Complete the different questions and ask them to a partner and write down the answer. So, a question and then write the answer. Number one, what can you, okay, here, remember, we can uh, detail an ability. Podemos hablar de una habilidad, okay? Uh, when could you, cuando podrías, where can you, cuando puedes, how could you, como podrías, who can you, quien puede, quien te puede ayudar, quien te puede enviar, okay? Why could you, este, por qué podrías, okay? So, and we're going to work in pairs, vamos a trabajar en equipos, and try to complete the question and the answer. When we come back, we're going to uh, say this. For example, imagine Guillermo is working with David. And I'm going to say, okay, Guillermo, say, tell me one question and David the answer. So please take note of the questions and take note of the answers. So we are connected and we're not going to have problems with the moment of the participations. Thank you, Noé, for sending uh, the screenshots. Desde ya comiencen a pensar, start thinking about what type of questions you can answer. Uh, you can ask and answer. Okay, I'm going to assign you. Lo voy a asignar ahorita. So we can have like. We can work with no problem. Okay, let's, let's go, see you in a moment. Okay, my friends, please accept the request, accept la solicitud, and see you in a couple of minutes. Um, let's see, yes, Noe, also who else, Alejandra. Graciela, thank you. Rivas, who else?
Okay, my friends, we are uh, now coming back. I need you to tell me some of the questions. Uh, select one of these uh, items we have from one to six. This is the first part of the question. Uh, I need you to, well, to tell me one question and the answer, okay? We're going to check, uh, we're going to start with maybe Rosalie. Rosalie, you can select uh, any of these questions. And of course, you did the complement, right? Al mismo tiempo, o sea, las dos. Eh, pregunta y respuesta. O yeah, sea, la pregunta. Yeah. The question and the answer to advance, para avanzar. Okay. Mm -hmm. eh, what can you give me in exchange for the purchase? Okay, and I the answer. I can give you a discount. No, okay. Thank you. Noé, and then we go with David. Who can you help to cook dinner? You have, you can help those grandparents. Mm -hmm. Thank you. David, and here we have with Daniel. Hey, teacher. Uh, uh -huh, the for question. Example, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And answer. Yes, both. Okay, question uh, and answer. You. For, for example, what can you do in your spare time? I can play soccer in my free time. Oh, yeah, another option. Thank you. Daniel, and then we go with Evelyn. When can you fix the car when I have money? <laughs> Definitely. Uh, Evelyn and Jose. Uh, what can you? Whatever you want. Okay, Jose, and after Jose, we're going to listen to Susie. Okay, Jose, are you ready with your question and answer? Uh, no, teacher, in this case, no. Okay, think about maybe we can ask you later. Susie, and then we go with Oscar, okay, Susie, what about you? Okay. Um. ¿Cuál, cu cualquiera puedo hacer? Yes. Okay. Whatever. Number three. Please. Uh, where can buy books? Okay. Where can you buy books? I can books? buy books. Perdón, sí. Where mm -hmm. can you buy books? Okay. I can buy books in the new library. Thank you. As, uh, Oscar and Guillermo. Okay, the number two. Mm -hmm. two uh, the question, when could you come to my house? And okay. the answer, I could go in two weeks. Thank you, Guillermo. And then we go with Gustavo. Okay, number six. Why could you sleep? I could sleep this afternoon because I feel tired. Thank you. Gustavo and Teresa. Okay, teacher. When call, call you come to my house, I call go in the two weekend. Okay, two weeks. Okay, thank you. Well, um, uh, Teresa, please. Yeah, teacher. Ay, pero ya no vi la pregunta. Bueno, pero de la cuatro. How okay. could how could could you help could you help me? Es que creo que era acá. How how could you how can you help me? <laughs> Ay, perdón. Escucha como que I... estoy llorando. Okay. How could you? How could how you, could you <laughs> help me? Okay. I yeah. can help you buying some medicines. Buying some medicine. Thank you. Nice. Okay. What annoying habits does your family or friends have? We already know very well our families and friends, and even we love them. We love them a lot. We uh, discover or notice some negative habits that we don't like. Definitely. So let's listen one of them. If you can mention from your family, friends, or even it can be from your colleagues at work. 
or neighborhood, I'm sorry, from your neighbors as well, we have a lot of habits. Um, okay, uh, maybe we can start with Guillermo and then Oscar. Okay, teacher. Please. Um, let me see. Well, my friend have a, a bad habit of saying a lot of bad words and drink a lot of beer. Okay. So we can have like nasty vocabulary and drink a lot of beers. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Oscar and then Noé. Hey teacher, uh, the habits uh, and yawning uh, in my family, maybe in the family meetings. Okay. Uh, sometimes we uh, have anything about to eat and there, there is uh, someone to do not collaborate with, with the things we have to buy to buy okay okay so, so they 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 are like they visit but they don't have pay anything they just for yeah having some drinks yeah that's some right food, sometimes and, and thank you thank you very much <laughs> okay oscar um, in every family we have that type of member of relative believe me yes thank you uh, noe and then we go with david Okay, in my case, the annoying habits of my friends are that when they come to visit me, they write their shoes on the sofa. Oh, come on. Yes. Yeah. Maybe they feel comfortable, but that's really, really, yes. Yeah, they feel are comfortable, you... but. Come on. It's, it's, it's the okay place when me. you rest. <laughs> a, a, maybe you or your yeah. daughter or, you know, the kids put the, their head so yeah. imagine wow. definitely uh, annoying annoying okay thank you we go with David and then Susie okay teacher uh, for example uh, some of my friends don't say hello for example uh, when passing by they like other to say hello to them not greeting is a bad habit Definitely it is. And if you go, well, I remember when I used to visit the countryside, El Campo, las zonas rurales, it is very common that people say hello, uh, good morning, good afternoon. Yes, it's common. Well, in some areas, of course, but it not uh, saying hi, not greeting, definitely bad habit. Okay. Thank you, David. We go with Susie and Teresa. Susie, uh, are you there? I think so. In, in my family, we love very low. Ah, uh, like this. Uh, when you have like family meeting, you laugh aloud. Esas risas son uh -huh. fuertes. Okay, I, yes. Okay, yeah. Imagine that kind of love at night. Imagínate esas risas en la noche. Wow. Very <laughs> special. Yeah. Thank you, Susi. Okay. Uh, maybe the negative part of this is that the neighbors or some other people, they listen, they hear, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what about uh, Teresa and then Rosalie? Mm. Annoying habits that my partner has is that they are so okay, screamers. Mm -hmm. When they speak or when they laugh or they shout or what? When they they are speaking. Ah, when they are speaking, they 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 speak aloud like scream like screaming okay okay thank you thank you very much uh rosalie um i i don't know if annoying annoying habits um, but it 
bothers me. Okay. <laughs> that when someone wakes up earlier, earlier, it makes a lot of noise. Come on. Uh, let me tell you that <laughs> it happens. I don't know why it happens sometimes on Sunday, the morning. Yes, it's like, come sí. on, at, at least at eight, por lo menos hasta las ocho. Okay, right. But, okay, Say so. 6 a.m. Uh, a lot of noise. A lot of noise, okay. <laughs> Maybe moving things or music or I don't know, or TV areas. Come on. And, and two um, friends. Uh, the bad habit is that he makes noise when eating. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or especially when some people, uh, they're eating and they open their mouth and they are smashing, they're masticando, smashing like this. Yes. Or especially when uh, uh, drinking soup, bebiendo sopa. Yeah. A lot of examples. Yeah. And that's part of uh, friends. Okay. Thank you, uh, Rosalie. Good point. And maybe we can listen, Maritza, are you there? Yes. Okay, are you ready with your anecdote? Uh, my friend lives trash anywhere. And my family accumulates things that are useless. Yes, useless. Things that are, you're not going to use anymore, but you have it at home. You have them at home. It's like, yes. And, yep, my family does the same. Yes, accumulation. Thank you very much, my friends. Okay, we continue with this. And we're going to have uh, this moment of listening. Okay, we're going to have some listening, please. And we're going to listen to a girl. Uh, this girl is going to describe some things. And it is very important to pay attention. Please, if you have pen or pencil, you can uh, write. And listen what this person is saying. It's a girl. And uh, I'm going to play this two times. So we can have more opportunity to listen phrases, ideas, words part of the vocabulary that you already know. Let's listen. My favorite place to eat? Well, it's not a restaurant at all really, just a very simple diner. There are only about six tables in there. A couple of waitresses wearing ugly pink uniforms, but the food is great very tasty traditional recipes and cheap too which is important of course there are some truck drivers sitting at the counter drinking coffee and eating breakfast every morning it's like the places you see in the movies i always have pancakes in the morning and their fish pie for lunch is wonderful that diner has been open for many years there are old photographs of the diner on the wall from the 1940s and 1950s. They say the actor James Dean ate there sometimes, but I don't know if that's true. Okay, let's listen one more time. My favorite place to eat well, it's not a restaurant at all, really. Just a very simple diner. There are only about six tables in there. A couple of waitresses wearing ugly pink uniforms. But the food is great. Very tasty, traditional recipes and cheap too. Which is important, of course. There are some truck drivers sitting at the counter drinking coffee and eating breakfast every morning. It's like the places you see in the movies. I always have pancakes in the morning. And their fish pie for lunch is wonderful. That diner has been open for many years. There are old photographs of the diner on the wall 
from the 1940s and 1950s. They say the actor James Dean ate there sometimes, but I don't know if that's true. Okay, uh, what do we have here? Volunteers uh, to say, okay, Maritza, I know it's, it's uh, raining. I understand that. Okay, Noe and then Guillermo, please. Okay, the girl said that if I'm, her favorite uh, place to eat is not a really restaurant, but they have very good food with a good taste. They make pancake in the morning, and there are some truck driver eating. Okay, yes. Uh, as you mentioned, it is not a restaurant at all, really. But it is like good food. Thank you, Noe. Guillermo, please. Let's mm. see who else. Well, uh, her favorite place to eat is not a restaurant. It's just a simple dinner. There are only uh, six tables and a couple of waitress. Mm, the food is great. It's very tasty. And they always have pancakes. And they said uh, a famous actor is there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Thank you, uh, Guillermo. What about maybe Oscar and Teresa? Okay, uh, she says uh, about his favorite place to eat. Uh, it's not a restaurant. Uh, she is only a very simple dining. Uh, and in this place, the food is great, very taste and traditional. And there are some truck drivers. She says the there is always have pancakes in the morning and there is a photograph uh the hundred forties and ninety fives that I think she said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course it is. Thank you. A lot of information, Oscar. Thank you. Uh, maybe Teresa. Teacher, I can understand that she mentions about foods and something like truck foods. And she says too that has pancakes in the morning, and that I can understand. Everything. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. That's what you got. Thank you. Okay, uh, David, do you have more information? Teacher, casi no le escuchaba al audio. Lo último que escuché es the actor James Dean. I it I there sometime. Yeah, it's it. That, 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 that's true. Yeah, the actor James Dean, uh, like eight there. Okay. So here we have, thank you. Here we have the, this diet, well, text. It is a text that uh, she was mentioning. Uh, my favorite place to it. Well, it's not a restaurant at all, really. Okay. La, like a, a simple dinner. Okay, uh, there are only about six tables. So you can imagine that it is a very small place, but the food is uh, like nice. Even the waitresses wearing ugly pink uniform. You can imagine that kind of cafeteria uh, like the 60s, maybe the 50s. So it is cheap. Traditional uh, recipes. Okay, and old photographs. And of course, like 40s and 50s. And they say the actor James Dean ate there. Okay. But I don't know if that's true. So uh, this girl doesn't know about this, uh, this comment that people do. Okay. Thank you. And we're going to have some. We're going to have some practice with this. This is a, a crossword. I guess you already know what a crossword is. Creo que tiene una idea que es un, es un crossword, que es una sopa de letras. Okay. So, um, in this case, we're going to have like uh, these 12 words 
that we have to find here. Tenemos que encontrarlas acá. So, what we're going to do, look at this. Here we have, let me see if we don't have a problem with this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see if we don't have a problem with this. I don't know if we're going to have some difficulties. Let me check. Okay, I'm going to do something. Okay, look at this. Here we have number one, okay. Number two, three, four, Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Here are the lines. Aquí tenemos las líneas. Look at this. Like this, like this, like this. Okay, if you say across, if you say across, or you can say down. Okay, let me check here. If you say across, it is like this. If you say down, it is like this, okay? Across and down. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds so you can check these words, sad, furious, miserable, sensitive, tearful, and so on, okay? And when you're ready, just raise your hand and we're going to complete this um, crossword. Okay, let's move. We have just 25 minutes and we finish very quickly. En 25 minutos terminamos. Um, let's see, maybe we can have some of you. What about eh, Rivas? And then Guillermo. Rivas, are you ready with your word? Number one, sad. Okay, number across, one. Sad, eh, across number seven. Okay. Uh, oops. Uh, three line. Uh -huh. Are you? Three line. Uh -huh. So, okay. Yes. Thank you. Very nice. And so, Chad, we're going to check this. Thank you. Uh, Guillermo and Teresa. Okay, teacher. Uh, unhappy is in the first line across. Oh, yeah. That's it. Okay. I'm happy. Thank you. Teresa and David. And the seven line across, miserable. Okay. Miserable. Number two, right? Number two, miserable. Number seven. Uh, okay. Seven, seven across. Seven, yeah, seven across. Yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you very much. And what about David? My column gloomy. Uh, down. Uh, what word? I'm sorry. Uh, my column. 
Okay. Gloomy. 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 Dumb. Okay. Gloomy. 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 Uh, Hold number on, one, nine. down, right? Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, who else? We have more. Number one, down, pitiful. Okay, pitiful. Number one, down. Yeah, that's it. Pitiful. Okay, maybe Oscar, you have one? And then the. Yes, uh, the number three, tearful. Okay, third full, it's number three, crossword. Cross. Cross. Ah, it's backwards. Está de, 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 de retro. That's, that's right. Yes, backwards. Uh -huh, of course. Third full. Mm -hmm. Daniel, what about you? Four, seven, eight, ten, eleven, or twelve? The number twelve. Tomorrow's mm -hmm. it and across in the five. Five. Uh huh. Ah, yeah, it's backwards. Backwards. Yes, thank you very much. Okay. Very nice. We're having some other. Maybe who else? Yeah, here we have some other. Rosalie. Tell me. And number 10. Upset and yep. it is one down. One down. Ah, yes, I I found it. Thank you. Upset. Okay, three more. Just three more. Sensitive or four. Sensitive. Beautiful. No, it's already done. Sensitive, vain, and mad. Maybe we can have some other participation. Susie? Or Gustavo or Evelyn. Okay, and Evelyn, you have one. Susie or Gustavo. Okay. Yes. Okay, come on. It is easy. It's so fácil. Okay, we're going to continue with this. Okay, so definitely from this, here we have just eight. Solo tenemos ocho, ¿verdad? Así que ya las completamos. Eh, 20 minutes, ¿verdad? 12, ¿cómo se llama? Bueno, 12, 20 minutos. And we say goodbye. What about this? A very simple uh, uh, speaking activity. Synonyms, maybe Noé can help us. Having some screenshots, please. Uh, synonyms and here we have the other we have two more thank you Noe and please the other screenshot for this here is very important because we have antonyms okay Synonyms are words that are uh, like similar. And here we have, for example, in the first, uh, thank you, Noe. Number one, angry, F, furious. Okay, number one, angry, furious. We are synonyms, son synonymous, se parecen. But in this case, here we have antonyms. 
So here we have different words. For example, number one, timid, noisy, brave, obstinate, fine. Timid es eh, timido, noisy es ruidoso, brave, valiente, se obstinado, eh, define, puede ser como bueno. So you select one that is opposite from timid, okay? We're going to work in pairs and then we continue. Vamos a trabajar en parejas y luego regresamos acá. Please see you in a moment, my friend. I send you the request, ya envié la solicitud, so you can accept.
Okay, um, we are back and we're going to listen to some of your opinions about what annoying habits does your family or friends have. And later we're going to continue with the speaking activities that we have with uh, synonyms and antonyms. So maybe we can have some participations. Um, let's check this. We have here Alejandra. Hello, Alejandra, are you there? Okay. No, Alejandra. And we have also maybe Rivas. I don't know if Rivas is there. Okay, teacher. Hello. Some friends. Some friends are on their cell phones and do not pay attention when they are spoken to. Okay, that, that's very common sometimes, or especially when you're having some, some dinner or you're having some food, and then the people is like not paying attention really to what you're saying. And it is very common, right? Okay, thank you. Very nice. And it happens a lot in the current times. Uh, actualmente eso es pues, super común. Okay. Uh, what about, I don't know, you have Graciela, I guess. I don't know if she's active. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Hello. My family has a bad habit of not okay. planning any trip. Everything is improved beside, improved side. Uh -huh. Okay. So they like to improvise uh, the last time. They yes. do at the last time. And what yes. about at the end, it goes good or it goes bad? Al final, termina bien o termina mal? Good or bad? En la mayoría de los casos, termina bien. Okay, thank you. But even it is kind of bad. Thank you. What about Evelyn? Tell us, Evelyn, one bad habit that you don't like from your family or friends. Mm, your family uh, speak loud. Okay. From your family, what do you say? I speak loud. I don't I get speak. no cap. Uh huh. Recicla. No. Ah, they speak no. aloud. They speak mm -hmm. aloud. Okay. But you don't, right? Your family is the one that speaks aloud. Thank you. Uh, Jose, Andres? Okay. Uh, what's the question, teacher? Uh, what annoying habit uh, does your family or friends have? Anything in my case. Come on. <laughs> How anything no, in your really. case? It's weird. There are yeah, but but uh, you are you are saying that a lot of things, a lot of things. Okay. okay. Maybe in my case bothers me. Don't be enough for the girls, or don't be um handsome or things like that, coach. You know, teacher. Okay. Right? Yeah. Sometimes yeah. we have that mm -hmm, yeah. that like yeah. limitation. But maybe you have some other part of your personality. You have maybe other skills that you have to show. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, teacher, yeah, teacher, but at the end of the day, those things doesn't matter. That's the reality. So yeah, that that's part of yeah. the of the reality. Okay, maybe you yeah. can have some, some other objectives in this year or at the end. Okay, thank you, Jose. Well, we're going to almost finish uh, this. This class, um, here we have, let's move to, okay, let's uh, complete uh, this. Maybe we can have some of you. Maybe we can start with Noé and then we go with um, David. Okay, Noé, you tell me, let's go with synonyms. 
uh, okay. number and letter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number 11, friendly, and the letter J, easy going. Okay. Thank you. Okay. David, and then we go with Daniel. Uh, number five, timid, letter B, she. Uh, letter shy. B, shy. Uh -huh. yes. Shy, shy. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. Okay, we go with Daniel and then we go with Rivas. The number four intelligent is E, clever. Clever, yeah, that's it, thank you. We go with Rivas and then Evelyn. Uh, teacher number six, selfish. Letter G, egoistical. Egoistical, okay, thank you. Okay, uh, Evelyn, you have yours? Number two, Cal. And... Uh, F. Okay, but calm is calmado, furious is furioso. Yeah. No. Uh-huh. Okay, uh, let's listen maybe yeah. some other. Uh, we have Rosalie and Teresa. Okay. Rosalie, are you there? Yeah, just teacher. Mm -hmm. And number two. Yeah. Calm and little J. J is easy going. Is that okay? La J. J. Okay, calm, easy going, but we have also friendly. Okay. Let's... Permítame que tengo problemas con la señal. Okay, I'm sorry. Yes. Okay, let's see this. Yeah, you're doing good. Calm, easy going, but friendly. It is amiable. And we have just three minutes. Tenemos solo tres minutos. We're going to finish this. Vamos a terminar esta actividad uh, tomorrow. Okay, we're going to finish this. I needed to say hi, hello, good evening, and good night uh, for this. And... I will need that. Maritza, are you there? Yes. Okay. Please stay at the end of the class. Te quedas un rato al final de la clase, okay? The rest say mm -hmm. hi, hello, good evening. Uh, Adi, I guess, is listener. Ana Cristina, no guest. Uh, Elias is listener. Carlos Rivas, hello. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia, not right. Daniel. Present. Very nice. Uh, David? Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Uh, Alejandra? Evelyn? Present. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Graciela? Have a nice night, teacher. Have a nice night. Guillermo and Jose? Present teacher. Thank you. Jose and John. Well, John is present. Present, present teacher. 
Thank you, Katia, no listener. Maritza, yes, right? You told me hi. Eh, Noé. Present teacher. Have a good Thank night. You. Have a good night. Marvin is listener, I guess. Gustavo, hi. Present teacher. Good night. Thank you, Oscar. Present. Okay. Thank you, Rosalie. Susie. Present. Good night. Okay. Thank you. Present teacher, okay. good night. Present. Thank you. Okay, my friends, remember unit number two, unidad dos in midterm. Ahorita voy a pasar list eh, la, la, las calificaciones, okay? I hope you have finished. Um, si no lo han hecho ahorita, háganlo porque ya le voy a pasar las calificaciones. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, Mañana nos vemos. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Okay, Maritza, how are you tonight? Tell me, your camera was off. Some difficulties? Yeah. Okay, difficulties at work. Eh, estaba viendo en la plataforma en la yes, en la número nueve. Okay. Eh, ¿Podrías enviarme la captura? Eh, la... Oh, no, eh, permítame. ¿Qué, qué este, tarea? Bueno, pero... ¿En la sección 2 o en el midterm? La tarea, dices tú, ¿verdad? No, estoy todavía con tarea. Yeah. Ok. La tarea, ¿qué número? Yo dije? la he puesto Good Night. Ajá, la tarea. Ajá. Pero no me la acepto. What number? ¿Qué número? Es la 9, de la 1 a la 5. 3. La 3. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yo la tengo como, would he like to buy there again? Prueba cualquiera de todas esas que, que te estoy enviando ahí al chat de Zoom. Mira el chat de Zoom, prueba cualquiera de esas. Y me la aceptó sin el nombre. Sí, te la aceptó. Sí, thank you. Eh, es que, I'm sorry, a veces la plataforma, no sé, hay, hay dificultades con algunas eh, oraciones. Eh, de ahí con el resto vas más o menos, ¿verdad? Sí, ahí voy. Ok. Este, sí, espero que te, que te pongas al día porque... No sé si hay otra, ¿cómo se llama? Otra dificultad. No, respecto a la, a la plataforma, no. Uh -huh. Y con las clases, solo me cuesta listening, pero. Ok. Con el, el, el listening, eh, todos los listening. Lo, lo sientes complicados. O sea, capto palabras, pero no la idea completa. Uh -huh. Ok, Entonces... este. 
Sí, este, recuerda que con el tema de los listenings, este, debe de estar captando palabras, eh, entonces tú, la, enfócate en las palabras que tú sí conoces, ¿ok? Entonces con las palabras que sí conoces, mm -hmm. tienes que ir atando cabos, uniendo palabras y después, ah, quiere decir esto, esta es la idea, ¿ok? No te enfoques, este, y no te asustes, si no entiendes todo así en general, porque se trata de ir poco a poco, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo que sí te recomiendo es que escuches bastantes eh, listenings en inglés de algún tema que a ti te gusta. Puedes buscar en YouTube algo, bueno, hay, una, hay un programa que se llama TED, TED Talks o TED.com, puedes buscar. Entonces, buscas en TED algún tema que te interese, por ejemplo, music, o you can talk about science, ciencia, o motivations y a estos son como son como pequeñas eh, sí son charlas que dan en inglés y están con subtítulos en inglés o con subtítulos en español entonces tú la vas escuchando y a medida al inicio tú te vas a sentir perdida pero después ah sí la voy captando y poco a poco entonces es la práctica de los listeners ok Maritza porque en el speaking y en el grammar siento que vas bien, ¿verdad? Así que esa es mi sugerencia para ti, ¿verdad? Eso, y, y, y que escuches lo que puedas. Ve series en inglés, eso ayuda bastante, ¿verdad? Y cuando, cuando sí. veas frases y todo eso, intenta pronunciarlas. Uh -huh. Sí, eso me falta, porque creo que traducir, o sea, las palabras se buscan, no cuesta tanto, pero sí el vocabulario o sí que... Sí, pero es, es la práctica, Maritza, ¿ok? Tú okay. relax. No, 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 no te, no te frustres ni nada. Vamos poco a poco, ¿verdad? Pero si te das cuenta, les pongo bastante listening, casi todas las clases. Entonces, eso es para que, pues, eh, poco a poco haya más práctica, ¿ok? Cualquier cosa, si tienen dificultades, okay. me escribes, ¿ok? Gracias. Ok, ánimo. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night.